coming like is a dream. Yeah. All of this coming like is a dream. Yeah. All of this coming like is a so dream. Like a dream. Um, I'm back with my 22 week update and this week I'm a little bit more prepared because I wrote down the things that I'm going to talk about. So I wanted to just begin by catching up on some of the things that I forgot to mention last week, which is the books that I'm reading. Um, there are a lot more than this and these are just the ones that I have like on me right now. Some of them I already returned to the library, but this one is called Better Birth, it's right there. And this one just basically it teaches you a lot about like wanting to have a natural birth and trying to like communicate with your baby it's very like it's an alternative birthing book I guess you could say because it really focuses on you as a mother and your capabilities of being able to give birth and like raise a child and the second one is this one natural baby care and this one, um, I liked it because it's very thorough, but it tells you everything from conception to um, like what kind of pesticides and stuff there are in like foods. Like it's all about having a healthy lifestyle before and after and during your pregnancy and like the best things you can do for your baby. However, one thing that I didn't like about the book is that it's a little bit I don't know if it's gonna be a pro and a con but it's a little bit too thorough like it may for some mothers I can imagine them reading it and going oh my god this book is driving me crazy because it tells you every chemical that's found in like cribs and all this stuff and I think it makes you a little bit over worried as like mothers are already worried so this book it could make you a little bit um, more worried than you should be um, but those bo books have helped me a lot, including another one which I'll include in another video when I get it back from the library. But um, yeah, so those are the books that I'm reading. Another thing that I wanted to start doing in my videos was um, giving you a little like blurb about what's happening to the baby this week. So I'm just going to read this one off the computer. So it says the baby now weighs almost one pound um, and measures nearly 11 inches. And I'll just show you what 11 inches look like because it looks really big, but I guess nearly 11 inches. So this is this is 11 inches um, from crown to heel. Before they were measuring from heel to rump, but now it's for, they're measuring from crown to heel. So I guess maybe that's why it's a little bit longer. And it's proportioned like a newborn. Um, and her baby fat hasn't developed yet. Although she's getting heavier every day, her skin still appears wrinkled because she needs to gain more weight. Um, in this early stage, first signs of teeth appear in the form of tooth buds beneath the gum line. And before you know it, your baby will be born, and soon after that, her first teeth will come through, inshallah. So, that's good. Um, symptoms. I'm still very tired. Um, not much has really changed from last week. Um, one of the things that I wanted to add to my cravings list was dates and milk. I don't know, I never used to like dates before, um, although it's sunnah to eat dates, but I never used to like dates before, but then all of a sudden I got pregnant and I just love dates and milk, so that's another thing that I was craving. Um, still short, short, shortness of breath, because you can tell I'm already out of breath, I've been sitting down all day, it sounds like I've been running a marathon or something, I don't know. Um, for the shortness of breath, when I'm going to sleep, I lie down with pillows, and you can look it up on YouTube how to lie down like with pillows. You basically put pillows from your head to like the bottom of your back, and it feels kind of awkward at first, but if you put your arms up, then it um, opens up your lungs, I guess. It helps. Um, it's getting harder to bend over. Um, it takes me a really long time to get something off the floor now, um, and to like put my legs up on something it it's like heavier feeling um, and to put on my shoes and stuff it's getting a little bit harder to do that but for now it's good alhamdulillah because we're wearing boots so the boots they go up to my knees already so I just have to pull them on um, I it's getting harder to zip up my winter jacket like I can still zip it up but it's uncomfortable on my stomach now just like how when my stomach first started growing my pants go were uncomfortable and like yeah the things that I was wearing are like around my stomach would get uncomfortable so you can tell now that like my winter jacket is starting to get uncomfortable in the front when I zip it up um let's see I'm having heartburn mostly right before I go to sleep alhamdulillah it's not all day because I know people go through heartburn all day that's my heart goes out to you um, cramping. Last night I had really, really 
bad cramping but um it was nothing serious because it's normal to cramp but last night it was, i was kind of a little bit worried but um alhamdulillah i'm better now everything's good um and my ribs really hurt and i'm speculating that it's because my stomach is actually pushing my it's compressing everything above it so it my ribs hurt a lot and that's like every day i have like pain in my ribs i don't know how to it's like a numbing pain um let's see what else um the oh movement of the baby okay so she was moving was it last night or a couple nights ago she moved a lot at 12 p.m and i'm beginning to notice that at 10 and at 12 p.m she moves and again at 2 a lot so i don't know if it's like two hour intervals between that time she's moving but at around like i think it was either 12 or maybe it was a two o'clock one but i was lying down and i was about to go to sleep and i felt like her back like right up against my stomach and i looked down and there was a big lump on my stomach like 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 that <laughs> and i woke up i woke up my husband i was like oh my god look what's happening to my stomach so um that was good to see that she's getting bigger enough so that she'll take up that that space in my stomach so alhamdulillah um let's see oh i also wanted to talk about praying when you're pregnant um it's getting harder for me to pray but one thing that you can do is um like if you go down in your first rakah you don't have to get back up for this the other ones like if you're doing duhur for example and you have four rakahs you don't have to go like you don't have to get back up you can like bend like you can stay in the sitting position and then just go down because if it's hard for you or you can pray on a chair and stuff like if it's really a struggle for you to pray because you're pregnant then you can um like you know you can do it on a chair or something that's going to make it easier for you um which i didn't know before but i'm happy that i know now because it was one point i couldn't even go past two rakahs i was like oh. <laughs> um yeah so i think that's the end of my 22 weeks um, oh, I wanted to mention that she moves a lot when I'm on the bus and it's uncomfortable movements. Like I think she, she doesn't like to be on the bus. Maybe it's because of the shaking of the bus, but it feels like she's not comfortable. And also she, I think I had some sort of interaction with her last night, but I'm not sure. So it, it's not set in stone, but I was rubbing my belly button and then she would kick my belly button and then I rubbed like on the right side and she would kick the right side and then I rubbed on the left side and she kicked the left side. So I don't know if that was fleeting and it's not going to happen again, but that was the first kind of interaction that I had with her. So I'm going to do a belly shot now and I'm going to start using measuring tape because it's hard for you to like see how much my stomach is growing. So if I measure it, then you'll know like how much it's grown every week so uh yeah them say me not go no way you don't not go make no money and them say me soon happy so here's my belly measurement part of the video. Um, I just wanted to say that last week I was 33 inches I just didn't put it in the video and um we'll see how much bigger I got this week. So it says, I don't know if you can see it, it says 35 inches. Um, I measure from around, but I make it come up to my belly button. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but I saw another girl on a different pregnancy vlog doing it a little bit lower. And it's enticing to do it lower because that's where it gets big first, but um, I kept, I want to keep it consistent, so I, I do it where my belly button is. So last week I was 30 three inches and this week i seem to be 35 so mashallah she's growing she's growing <laughs> alhamdulillah so that's two more inches for 22 weeks